So I always felt that we are from a land of stories here, but somehow we are not telling our stories well enough on a global stage. And my ma favorite memories of my childhood were summers where my grandfather's brother used to come from our village and tell the same story every summer. But somehow it sounded fantastic. And it was a king with his four sons, and every day was the story of one son. And, uh, and he would finish one story and say, OK, tomorrow I'll continue. And we couldn't wait for the next day. That's the power of storytelling. But I kept wondering, where did we lose that? You know, so I've lived in US for over 30 years, almost 30 years. And what I hear of India a lot of times is like the blind man and the elephant story. So, you know, four blind men get into a room with an elephant and they say, let's describe the elephant. One says, oh, it's stout and round because he's feeling the legs. One says it's long and curvy because he's looking at the trunk. And another one says it's thin and long because he's looking at the tail. So everybody has their perspective of it. But this complete picture of what we are can only be told by us in our voices. And to me and to every one of us at Inc., it's about curating those stories by those who are creating them. It's not reporting on them. It's not talking about them. It's to say it in its own language, its own diction, its own uh, uh, you know, voice. So I would like to start today. This is the first time we are collaborating with Dasra, because we felt, obviously, that we don't have the corner on stories. You know, Once a year, we have a conference. We curate almost 80 stories. But there are people all around us who are curating amazing stories. So why not we partner with them and curate their stories so they can be on our platform? So this is the first time we are doing this. So before we start, I'd like to start with a story about philanthropy, about what we want to do here, and why we are all in it together, and in what way. So this is the story of a man who is walking on a street, and suddenly he falls into a hole that's way too deep, can't get out. So he's yelling from there, you know, help me, help me, I'm hurt. So a doctor walks by, and he looks and drops a prescription and goes away. And a priest is walking by, and he drops a little prayer and he goes away. Finally, one of his friends is walking by, and then he jumps in with him. And the friend says, you idiot, why did you jump in here? Because now both of us are stuck here. And the friend says, I'm here because you need company, and I know how to get out of here. The point is, philanthropy to solve the huge problems are put us in a situation where we are stuck. We don't know how to get out a lot of times. The best we can do is to be with people who are like us, who know how to get out of the way at different points of time, and be with us in every step of the way. So what we have done today is we have curated three stories for this evening, people who come from different points of view, different voices, uh, and different organizations to tell you their story. Two of these stories will be told in Hindi, so I will translate a little bit up front, and I'll translate it at the end, because we felt it was very important for people to say it in their own voice. And uh, one of the talks will be in English.